Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on Innova Advantage. Boy, it has been a hot minute since the last time we went live. I couldn't even tell you when the last time, possibly a couple months ago. Um, we are revamping our um, Innova Advantage just to kind of reconnect with our general public, to reconnect and kind of, you know, uh, get, get the flow going with everything that we want to tell you about the scan tool, address some issues, talk about the features and really workshop this so that you can have a better understanding about our scan tools like our 5610 here, our top seller, um, definitely the best scan tool in the market, heavily reliable on all features that you want to try to fix your car with. So once again, we're back on, on stage um, with our Innova Advantage. Today, we wanted to kind of go through some viewer questionnaires, some things that we wanted to like really um, hit the nail on and kind of get you you know, kind of on your way when it comes to this kind of stuff. We're doing a, a questionnaire, a viewer questionnaire here. We're going to do um, some of the things that kind of came through um, our feed. Um, we're going to let's do the first one here where, uh, okay, here it goes. It doesn't do the feature it claims it does. Yes, um, this tool does do a lot. It can definitely help you uh, repair your cars, pass smog, and keep your car well maintained. There is a lot that not only the 5610, but a lot of our scan tools can do for you, OBD2. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, that 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 is kind of the lay of the land. You know, a lot of times, depending on your vehicle, make, model, year, and all this stuff, there's a lot of variables that can possibly hinder um, a, uh, a report, a scan, or help you try to fix your car. There's a lot of those things that can kind of happen out there in your reverse. There's sometimes cars just, just don't do it. And, you know, uh, that's kind of, unfortunately, uh, the truth of the matter with a lot of OBD2 scan tools as well. If you ever go to a working garage, you'll see sometimes that they use different multiple commercial grade um, scanners to kind of help fix the cars. In some lights with our very uh, high end or at least our DIY 5610 here, it kind of has the same scenario. Um, but we urge you to, um, you know, check our covers checker. See, before you, you purchase the... Uh, the scan tool or any of our, our products, uh, check the coverage checker on our website, Nova.com, to see if the feature or make and model is compatible to your um, what you're trying to fix or what you're trying to um, accomplish. And hopefully that will at least get you halfway through, you know, knowing that stuff is kind of half the battle. You kind of have to do a little bit of legwork and to make sure that you're purchasing um, the correct scanner or correct tool for you before you kind of uh, go you know, forward with any type of repairs and fixes. I guess that's kind of a, a golden rule for any type of car repair. You de definitely want to do some research or have some knowledge or know-how about how these things go. Again, if you talk to any mechanic or technician or any very, very experienced DIYer, um, they'll kind of let you know that, you know, there is definitely some, a little bit of know-how before you, you kind of go forward with it. You definitely don't want to go in these things completely blinded. Yes, we definitely have a lot of tools, a little bit more on the um, entry level that all it does is is give you that trouble codes and that's pretty much all you need to go forward. But if you're buying a scan tool that has a lot of different uh, features, very technical features, I should say, um, do some homework, you know, uh, get to know uh, the tool a little bit and then hopefully there's something that is that'll fit your needs um, for car repairs. I think that kind of stuff is important and that really goes with anything, you know, before I myself go and spend um, and invest some money into something that will possibly be um, a little more complicated. I'll, I'll give it a little bit more of a research. I'll ask around, see if this is kind of the tool that you need in order to fix the thing. So yes, uh, apparently, you know, it doesn't fix everything. And and I'll also, let me preface the fact that these tools do not repair your cars. It doesn't fix your cars. That you actually have to do yourself. But it can give you that information in order for you to fix the cars. And I think that is, that's what will, will empower you to fix the cars is that the knowledge that you get from these tools because you're scanning it, you'll be able to figure it out. And I think that will definitely help you out. So, yes, uh, unfortunately, you know, depending on what you're trying to repair, it probably, it most likely can, but it also may not be able to help you fix your car or get you that, that information you need. So again, uh, we urge you to also possibly contact our customer service before or after you purchase this, uh, this tool. It, again, knowledge for that type of thing will definitely help you out. Um, send us an email, you know, hopefully this will kind of alleviate the situation for you and uh, kind of help you out. 
And uh, so question number two here, uh, it says uh, we checked the website and the coverage checker that I just kind of said check before you buy. Um, uh, it says that it will do it, but it doesn't do it. And again, that's, that's just a very unfortunate thing that does occur here as well. Um, we try our best to really enhance and put as much information into our coverage checker. Um, and de again, depending on your make model of your vehicle and also the, the situation of your car itself, um, it may not give you all that information or uh, it, at the end of the day, it also may just not be compatible. You know, we want to be very honest with you here. You know, we, um, we are, we pride ourselves on developing very substantial tools, but we also pride ourselves on having correct information for you. And uh, wherever we are lacking, we definitely want to enhance and improve. And we want to make sure that we're giving everything that you need before, you know, we make a mistake or you could possibly not, uh, you may purchase the wrong tool, it probably won't help you out. Um, but yes, again, folks, thanks for joining in uh, here on our YouTube live for uh, Inno um, boy, <laughs> Innova Advantage. Again, it's been a while. Um, let's get the engines rolling here. We have, do have a question from Jim Haynes. Thank you so much, Jim Haynes, for tuning in. Um, we're doing viewer questions, so I'm going to answer your question here. Spend a little than just a code. Spend a little than just a code reader, as you can never have too much info. Even if you need help, uh, you have the info someone may ask you about. And that is absolutely true. You know, a lot of times if you ever do any type of car repair or any type of thing that you have, I definitely having um, as much knowledge about that actual repair, fix, or vehicle or anything that you need is definitely valuable to you. I'd rather know more than not know enough. I would hate to go into anything that is very important or could be potentially hazardous to you without the knowledge of it. I totally agree with you, Jim. Thank you so much for chiming in on that. That is very important. I think anybody here that has that kind of knowledge definitely could uh, you know, leverage that for sure. Oh, here we go. More from Jim. Thank you. The only scan tool that will do everything on every car is a scan tool made for that car. Yes. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, dealership cars, let's just say it's Cadillac. They will have very proprietary scan tools and machines, commercial grade even, that will, that is very specific to their uh, class of vehicles, but also very specific to that make and model. And even furthermore, that year, you know, I talk, we have R&D at arm's reach here, and I talk to them quite frequently. And a lot of our, um, a lot of people who do work in R&D have been master techs for a really long time. Um, we definitely hire uh, top of the line, top class type of uh, people here to develop our tools. And they themselves have said that, um, you know, one of them worked for Cadillac, and he said that there was always just one tool for their CTS line uh, of cars. That is just one make of a car Not, that doesn't administer another type of car in their, in their family of, of vehicles. So yes, that is very, very, very proprietary. If we could possibly make a thousand different 56 tens to fit every single vehicle, that could possibly be it. But um, we like to develop tools that can be slight more than universal to a lot of people who want to fix their cars. And again, a very, handy DIY tool itself. So again, thank you for that, Jim. I totally agree with you. These things are made so specific on that type of level, especially when it comes to professional grade tools for technicians and mechanics. Uh, I'm going to continue. That means so many tools, it would make no sense at all. I Again, I agree. If we had a thousand different 56 tens to adhere to every make and model of every car and also per year, there would be so many different 5610s or one of our scan tools out here to help you fix your car. It's just, that's just how it goes sometimes, you know, Any, almost with anything, especially when it comes to a very technical thing like fixing a car. You know, we, we, if we can hit more of a broader sense and more of the general sense, I should say, it's, it's a little bit more, uh, it is definitely successful. We'd definitely like to um, help out everybody that has a, car or a problem with their vehicles it you know with a lot of things it just isn't that way and we want again want to be honest we we do pride ourselves on having very reliable tools so i assure you if you were to buy any of one of our scan tools it can definitely give you that trouble code so you can get that fix and you can you know start uh, having that information to to really study it and and know what you're, get, you're getting yourself into 
Um, but again, you know, it just there's a lot of variables into play here. And I don't think um, and I, I still think that the, the tool will help you out, but possibly not with everything, even though the coverage checker, um, you know, said one thing or the other. It, there's still a lot of variables from point A to point B. And unfortunately, that's how it goes. And if you are in a situation where you did buy the scan tool and it didn't work for you and you did check our coverage checker online, you know, <clears throat> I urge you to contact our customer service still. And hopefully that it can help you out uh, with the tool. If this ultimately didn't work out for you, we are more than happy to help you with the return. Give them a call. They'll give you an RMA so that you can return the, the uh, any one of the scan tools that you purchased from us. Uh, happily help you out all along the way. And maybe, you know, something else can help you that can kind of get that. And at the very least, there's a mechanic out there that can get you on your way to fixing your car. Um, we, we try to empower you with our tools, so that's why we sell these tools to you. We, we also give you information on things like this. Our, um, our RS2 app enhances and expands your knowledge about the car. So beyond the tool itself, we do have a companion app that can give you that information. And again, if mo mo these two um, tools do not work for you, give, us, give our customer service a call and Again, they'll probably try to assist you and guide you on what else can you do about fixing your car. Beyond the tools itself, we, we definitely like to say that w we try to help our community as much as we can. We've been here doing this for 30 years, so we definitely know a thing or two when it comes to auto repair. Again, multiple uh, AC master techs on hand, on staff. Everything here is at ground zero when it comes to making, developing these tools. We are here in the US, so we pride ourselves on that kind of thing. And um, I guess the last, we got one more question here. And unfortunately, this is a weird one for us because uh, question number three is uh, sometimes uh, we get tools that look used or have um, substantial scratches on there. And that's very unusual. We don't, we never sell used, or sorry, we never sell new tools as with used conditions. So that's very strange to us. But if you do uh, um, encounter that, um, it does happen, unfortunately. Uh, we do sell on Amazon, so uh, uh, that might have been a situation in Amazon where they took a return and they put it back into, um, you know, the new pile of, of scanners. So that can happen if you do have that and um, you want a brand new tool. Again, contact our customer service team and they will uh, help and they will handle that for you and get you a brand new new tool so that you can, um, you know, you, you'll feel better about it. And again, we can alleviate the situation as fast as we can. Um, also, a lot of our tools do have a screen protector and it may look like it's scratched, but really it's just a matter of just peeling off that screen protector. And I assure you that there's no scratches or dings or anything like that. Once you peel that screen protector off, um, the newer wave of tools will have a QR code. So if you're unsure if there's a screen protector on there, if there's a QR code on there, obviously there's a screen protector. But on some of our older models that have been around for a while, it will still have the screen protector. The screen looks kind of foggy or scratched. Again, uh, grab a corner, kind of scratch off the corner and start peeling it across. And, you know, you'll have a brand new, new tool just like this guy right here. As you can see, there's not, not a scratch on that. But yes, um, again, top three questions for today. Does uh, it, it doesn't do what the features claim it does. Unfortunately, that does happen. Depends on your make model and year of car, um, if you have any questions about that. And all of these definitely in, can be assisted from, from our world-class customer service team. Contact them. They'll help you out. They're eager to hear more about you or email them and see exactly how we can help you out. We try to go above and beyond, not just sell you, um, you know, our top-of-line scan tools, but also try to help you out with the fix. So if it's not the scan tool that can help you out, our customer service team can help you out. Um, if it doesn't help you with that feature, you know, it, it, and ultimately it doesn't help you out, then, you know, we can definitely help you out with a return. Um, the coverage checker is not working out for you. We try our best to put as much information into the coverage checker as possible. You know, those coverage checkers get updated on a yearly scale. As the years go by, we try to put those new make and models into there. So the, the scan tools are up to the year prior till the most latest models. Um, and sometimes all that information isn't on there. So unfortunately, that does happen too. And again, if you purchase a tool before and after and it's still not working out for you, please give our customer service team a call. They'd love to hear you out. 
We got more comments here from Jim. Jim, thank you so much for chiming in. I really appreciate you, uh, ch- uh, you know, uh, hanging out with us today. I have a 7111. Oh, that is a beautiful tool. That is definitely on the professional uh, line there. Um, live it beyond the DIY. I can tell by your comments that you definitely, I, I have a sense that you're uh, beyond DIY and you're more of a technician, professional mechanic. But 7111 is a really great tool. At work, so I have two tools, and it works fantastic, and I even do road service. Wow, you're a traveling mechanic. You do open-heart surgery on the road. Um, really like that at Powering Up, and it says there's an update, and I always press yes. Oh, yeah, and that's the best part, too, and I'm going to continue here. Always need to keep tools up to date, as that is the first thing they help. Line will ask you if your tool is up to date. Yes. So, I mean, you know, I hate to be Sally here because this is all about our viewer questions, but, you know, we don't charge for any of those updates, unlike other make and models will. Um, we, you know, we update the tools and we send out uh, a note about it. Um, and we do update quite frequently because we want to refresh the tools as much as possible so you can take advantage and um, uh, utilize the tool as much as you can. Um, the app itself is also free. So those two paired together will definitely give you the best car repair together. I think that's great. And yes, to kind of emphasize um, Jim's comments here, the 7111 is a great tool. But beyond that, I think having these two tools together is, I mean, it's, it, it'll give you endless possibilities when it comes to doing car repairs. And if you're somebody like Jim, who do uh, road service, man, and also works on multiple types of cars, you know, these tools... Um, uh, can definitely help out more than you can think on any type of vehicle out there. I mean, that's the whole point about these things is that we try to make it as universal as possible, although sometimes it doesn't work out, but we try to make it as universal as possible so that you can um, repair not only your car, but somebody else's car in the family or somebody else that you know, or you know, possibly have it as um, your main go-to tool the first thing you do when a car comes in into the garage you want to get that quick scan. We give you the fastest results, the most substantial results out in the market as far as scanning tools go. And not only that, give you the information you need to start fixing your car. Because beyond the trouble code, as any other scan tool will give you, we do give you the code definition and give you all that information on one screen so that you can make better assessments right away. When you're a professional mechanic or technician, it is all about time. You know, the more, the less time you spend on a car, the more times you can get a car in and obviously pay the bills. We want to, you know, get paid as fast as possible, I suppose. Um, but yes, thanks so much, Jim. I, I really appreciate your time and you chiming in. That really helps, especially when it comes to answering these viewer questions. But that's, uh, that's pretty much the purpose of today's uh, episode today, folks. We want to really kickstart um, Innova Advantage once again. We've been on a hiatus for a while. We took a break. We assessed and we wanted to come back and help you out as a workshop. And to answer uh, your questions just like this, you know, we want to get everybody well knowledge, more comfortable with these tools. And this is a great start to do so. Jim, I thank you for your time. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. If you have chimed in, and is this the first time you're chiming in, please follow us here on, on YouTube. We're going to do a lot more of these. If you have any questions about our scan tools, aside from contacting our customer service team, please let us know. We like to hear more of your thoughts, good and bad. You know, that kind of stuff helps us grow. Anything that can help us out will help you out eventually. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We will see you guys again. I'm not sure when, but we'll try our best to keep it consistent. Um, and thank you, Jim, so much for joining, chiming in, and we'll see you guys again. Peace.